I have uh, Jamie. Pronouns are she and her Hi. in Colorado. Jamie is a witness of God's presence. So welcome, Jamie. How can you, uh, well, tell us what you're thinking. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Mandy. Thanks for allowing me to be on your show. Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can. Yes, we can hear you fine. Hi. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a witness of, of God's presence. Um, I had an experience with uh, God several years ago, and um, and if I captured it all on camera. So I have photographs of wow. my oh, um, experience okay. in which I walked with God for um, seven minutes. Okay. Uh, so are, they, are these still pictures? Is this film footage? I, it's just um, you know, just a, a uh, just a, a, a camera, like a, a thirty-five millimeter camera, and um, it's it was a really uh, fascinating thing. Um, okay, but so, but I, I asked if it was still footage or film, like movie, motion picture. Oh no, it's not film. No, it's 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 still. So okay. so what what appears in the pictures? Uh, uh, the, the face of God. Okay. Um, do you mind emailing it to the show? Well, I was actually um, wanting to um, sit down with Matthew if he on a, a day that we could both get together, and then um, I just thought maybe we could have a, a, a conversation about it, and then we could do a little Zoom meeting, and then he can see for himself. I am writing a book about it, so. Um, uh -huh. Because I, I really like to share it with you. Is, is it okay for you to just give a brief description of the God that you captured in your in your images? Yeah, tell us tell us the story. Yeah. I, mean, we, 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 I'm, I may or may not. I'm not going to make any promises yet, Jamie, because I've, I've got questions, but I appreciate you. Um, I, I may be very, very happy to sit down and do a Zoom meeting, discuss this or not. But tell us what happened and what can. how did you know you were having an experience with God uh, how do you know that you have photographs of God, that kind of thing? Because right now it's just, you know, obviously we, we barely started talking and it's just vague claims. So I want to know more about what happened and how you know what happened. Yeah, sure. So, um, yeah, so I, you know, you know how Jesus says that the kingdom, the kingdom of God is within you. So there's ways for us to um, go within inside ourselves to find truth. And, um you know, I was kind of going through a hard time in my life and uh, just wanting to work on myself and feel better about life. And um, so I kind of just started an insert side journey of myself and started a conversation with God. And through that experience, it just opened up a lot of uh, doors and passageways. And um, one day I was just like feeling, just feeling the presence of God um, within me and all around me. And it was really prolific. I just felt like God was in the room with me. And I asked God, I'm like, God, can I have a picture of you? Like, I just asked out loud, like, I'd love to, you know, have a picture of you. And I went outside and I started taking pictures and because um, I was feeling the presence. And I came back inside and I looked at the photographs and I didn't see glory. I didn't see anything spectacular at all. Um, but there was something in that photograph, which was revealing. Um, but... 13 days later, after I had that experience, I, um, I, I was working and I saw a cloud outside and I had a feeling about this cloud and, and it was just intuitive. I didn't know. So I um, grabbed my goats and my dogs and I, um, I wanted to investigate it. I, I wanted to like, I just, I had a feeling and I, and I didn't really understand but um, so I went out, I grabbed my camera and I went out and I just was observing the cloud. And as I was observing this cloud, um, I was walking with it and I realized at some point that it was observing me too. And um, I was like, wow, this is really weird. And, you know, I, I work outside all the day, all, every day um, in, in the elements and I'm just really... Uh, in tune with nature, but I, I just felt like this was a totally different experience than anything. And I realized as I was looking at it, I was like, oh my God, that's God. And all the while I was just taking photographs of this cloud. And 
um, it was it was really really stunning. Um, and I don't know why I did the things that I did, um, but I called upon the angels, and all these lights started to uh, descend into the sky. And um, and I have photographs of all this. It's really quite stunning. And um, and the cloud was not in a shape that my mind could perceive in the, like, um, it was just kind of, you know, it was a cloud, but it was changing shape and form. And I was looking up at it and, um, you know, it's kind of interesting. I, I had just, uh, and I know this, this story is going to sound really absurd and crazy. And if I heard it, I probably wouldn't believe it, but, um, but you can see the evidence. And, um, well- that's that's to be seen. So, so here's I, I have loads and loads of questions because you say that you felt God was in the room with you. I don't know what that feels like, and I don't know how you would prove either way that your your feeling that God was in the room with you um, was was actually God in the room with you versus you just being convinced of something. And similarly, the same thing same same thing applies when you talk about you realize that the cloud was observing you too. I don't know how you can demonstrate that. Uh, you certainly can't demonstrate oh, with a picture. Yeah. And hang on. Yeah, and you'll ha- see hang on. Hold on, hold on, yeah, Jamie. And so you have a bunch of pictures of a cloud, um, which you've also said is the face of God, despite the fact that the Bible. I mean, I'm, I'm, are we talking about the God of the Bible? Because the Bible says that no man has seen the face of God. Well, I would, um, I, I think that's kind of a difficult question. Uh, what was revealed to me was the uh, Trinitarian God. Um, so, um, but uh, I would. Did you just say a totalitarian God? I think she said Trinitarian. Oh, Trinitarian. But, okay. So are you saying it may not be the God of the Bible? It's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Well, this God is pure love. Oh. And it's, it's the God that, um, that, that I believe in. Okay, so so first of all, hang on. I, I'm trying to get an answer. Are we talking about the God of the Bible or some other God? We're talking about the Father, the Son, and... The That's Holy not an answer Spirit. to my question. If you say that you believe in a Trinitarian God and there's a Father, a Son, and a Holy Spirit, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the biblical God. So are you saying it is the biblical God or it's not? Well, I don't know how to answer that question, Matthew, because there's a lot it's of It's a simple that... yes or no. Honestly, it's a simple yes or no. Well, I, I would say that there are profound truths um, in the Holy Bible, and I don't believe everything in it. But I would say that, um, you know, it is Jamie. representative of what that God would be like. Yes. Jamie, Jamie, you're calling in to tell a story of how you think God revealed himself to you in such a way that you have pictures and you can't tell me if it's the God of the Bible or not. Why wouldn't God make anything clear to you so that you could answer questions about this? Well, I would say that, um, well, if, if I could tell you a little bit more about my story, I think that would be helpful. I, I don't know. No, no. I, I, I'm, 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 if you, so here's the thing. I, I would say. It's, it seems like, it seems like, it seems like, if there is a God, he's punking you. He's managed to convince you of something, give you absolutely no information that you could use to present to, to, to present any answer to any reasonable question. Like, how can we know what, what the pictures represent? How do we know that this is God? Because okay, I, I don't, hang on, I'm not done talking, Jamie. I let you talk for a long time, Jamie, and I took notes. Now, okay. if you in fact were in, in, in conversation with or in Congress with the God of the universe, and he did not prepare you to answer questions like this, you should go ask why. Uh, No, I would say that I'm I'm pretty well prepared. It's just, I've heard you- You're not. You're not. You can't even tell me whether or not this is the biblical God. That would be one of the most important things. The biblical God is I am. I am. I am. Yeah, I don't think you okay. know anything about the biblical God other than I am and this other thing because and that's why you're trying to avoid it. So right. are and, you and now now before you, when you said it was hard to answer and now you're saying it is the biblical God, it's I am. So are you sure about that? Were you just lying before? I am absolutely I'm absolutely sure about that is the I am. 
that I can tell you and I, and I can show you how, how that is true. You're, you're okay. saying here right now that you can show us that the God that you, that you believe was in your images and your pictures is, is true. And you can demonstrate that. You can demonstrate that beyond a reasonable doubt. Yes, I absolutely can. Cool. How? Well, I can show you the photographs. The photographs and don't we, photographs don't prove that a god exists. Have you not seen? Uh, well, so, first of all, even if you have something that's unexplained or that looks miraculous or that looks wonderful, how do you prove that that's a god? Because he's made in. Because we, you know, if if you look at scripture and it says that we're made in the image and likeness of God, you'll see how we are made in the image and likeness of God. I'm sorry, but if I if I were to take what you just said and put it in the form of a logical argument. It's not possible. Yeah. You're basically saying the Bible says we're made in the image of God. I took pictures of clouds, which I view as in the image of God. Therefore, it's God. That does not follow. That is a logically flawed argument. How can you demonstrate that what you have a picture of is in fact a God? Because you can see the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I don't know what that you know, means. And, and huge, there's nothing, there's yeah. literally no photograph that could possibly exist which in and of itself could demonstrate that it is a photograph of a God. Also, you said that we, according to what you believe, according to the Bible, that we were made in God's image. So why would this being not present itself in that very same image? Why would it be a cloud of yeah, all and, things? And why would it be a cloud that you yourself said your mind could not comprehend and didn't even recognize was a face at first? Well, because it hadn't it hadn't formed itself into a, a, a shape yet, but it did yeah. form itself. I, I've seen How? lots of images in clouds. I, that is something that our mind does, seeing things in clouds. There's no image of anything in any cloud ever that could, on its own, prove that a God exists. So what else do you have? And also, how long ago was this experience that you say you had? How long ago was this? Um. Well, this... Um, this experience happened in 2015. I, I I emailed Matthew about it, and I I said 2016, but I I got that um that date wrong. And and have you has it replicated itself? Have you been has this God presented itself to you in the same way, the same manner as it did in 2015 or 2016? I I mean I see. God all the time. Like after if you have this kind of like there's nowhere where I don't see God. I'm you know, yeah. I, okay. I, so I I don't want to discount because you said that you had you were at a low point in your life or you've had some some traumatic experiences, correct? Um no, I I mean that's just like the beginning of me like wanting to like discover who I am and, and go into myself and, and these things. And, um, yeah. Right. So I don't want to discount that because whatever trauma is, is real to you, it's understandable. However, based on what you're telling us, it still does not demonstrate that an actual God exists. Even if you believe Can that to mind? be true, that just does not that does not qualify as evidence of a god, especially if the experience did not replicate itself. So I tell you what we'll do. I tell you what we'll do, Jamie, because you want to share more. I'm going to put you back in the queue, and you're going to email me because you said you've emailed me before a picture. Yeah. Right now, while we're still in the air, I, and we're going to take another, and we're going to take another call. And if I get that picture, I'll pull you back out of the queue, and we'll talk about it, and you can share more. Well, Matthew, I have to explain some more before I send you the photograph. No, you don't. No, no. you absolutely don't. And my name, is, my preferred name is Matt. But sorry, I, it, it, it's fine. I'm just letting you know. It's not like I get mad when somebody calls me Matthew. My mom did it for years. It's probably the reason why I prefer Matt. But we don't need to hear more because you can have, you could actually have a picture of God and there would be no way for you to prove it at all. But if you are, you know, you, you say this happened in 2015 
and that you'd emailed me about it before. So now it's six years ago that you saw something in a cloud and for seven minutes you walked with God is what you said, and you took pictures. Um, and then you still, at the beginning, when I first asked whether or not it was a biblical God, that was a difficult question to answer, but now it is. I'm going to put you back on hold. You're going to email me a picture so that we know what you're talking about, and then I'll let you share more. But I'm not going to waste more of anybody else's time on something that couldn't possibly demonstrate the truth of what you're saying. Okay, well, I, I clicked return to queue. I think we're there. Um, hey, I got more announcements. Uh, it's incredibly frustrating because I'm not, you know, I have no way of saying, oh, you're wrong about whether you saw your God, but that doesn't mean there's any way for her to demonstrate that she's right about seeing a God. And I would think, how bizarre is it to have an experience where you're convinced that you saw God and have pictures of God, and then six years later, you're calling in to a show to say, oh, I've got evidence of God. I've been in God's presence. And then when the questions are asked, it becomes clear. You couldn't demonstrate that. How could a picture of God prove God? Any more than a picture of a UFO on its own could prove a UFO. Or, sorry, an alien spacecraft, I would say. And certainly the longer the explanation or the lead into what these pictures mean uh, just could imply or demonstrate that we see that the you know that that the person really doesn't know or isn't really clear that uh, you know that that they're convinced or or that it was an actual God. So I mean, yeah. there, there's a bunch of calls left, and and so I I right. I, I can't uh, I I didn't want to keep going because I, I don't I'm not convinced that's going to get anywhere. Yeah. But, right. Right. 